New information has surfaced about the man who shot and killed five Dallas police officers last month. According to an investigation released by the Army earlier this week, the shooter, identified as Micah Johnson, had his gun taken away from him by his commanding officers back in 2014 after an incident in his unit. In the partially redacted report, a female soldier claimed the shooter sexually harassed her while they were stationed in Afghanistan. She also accused him of stealing her underwear. The soldier said she had known the 25-year-old for years and that they had fights and disagreements in the past. The report quotes one of his superiors as saying, I asked if for safety reasons we should relieve Johnson of his firearm and any bladed weapons in his possession. We locked them in our mailroom for security. The Army ultimately decided the Army Reservist did sexually harass the soldier, and he was sent back to the U.S. after the incident. An Army official told USA Today he didn't appear agitated or a threat to himself or others when his weapons were confiscated, and it was unusual for military authorities to take such action. On July 7th of this year, Johnson killed five police officers and wounded nine more in a shooting at a protest against police violence in Dallas. He was later killed by officers by an explosive device. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.